Well, tonight was all about Eikhoff and uh, Franco, obviously. Eikhoff, I can't say enough uh, good things about him tonight. He was in total command for the entire time he was in that game. Outstanding curveball, located everything well, went to his slider a few times. Uh, nothing but superlatives for him today. And Franco hit a couple lasers, got us, got us the run. So uh, very pleased with the performance. Uh, Hernandez pitched a good eighth. Uh, pitched around some trouble, some big trouble, and then Gomez, of course, did a, a, got another save. So we're pretty pleased right now. Right, sound like a broken record, but your starting pitching has a 2.50 ERA, which would be the best in baseball. I hope we. I sound like a broken record all year because uh, it's been very impressive, and uh, I don't see any reason why we won't continue to pitch well. You know, for the most part, uh, for the entire season, if these guys stay healthy, they're. They've all shown the ability to command all their stuff and mix up their pitches, keep hitters off balance. Uh, Eikhoff was t terrific. What makes that curveball so good? I don't know. If I, if he's just got a good – he's got the ability to get that rotation. It's a real tight rotation with good depth. Uh, it's just – it can be an unhittable pitch. And he commands it. Uh, he can get ahead with it for strike one. He can throw it behind in the count, 2-0 and count. He'll throw a three and two. He back. He threw a. Uh, he threw one back. He threw two curveballs back to back to strike somebody out. I can't remember who it was. Upton, you know. I think that was a three and two count. If you can do that, uh, you're a major league pitcher. He used that curveball for seven straight strikeouts, and then for the eighth strikeout, he went. It was a guy on third went at Myers with mm -hmm. some pretty heavy heat. Well, once you're but once you're able to show that kind of command of your curveball, then the hitters start looking for it, and then you sneak fastballs by them. But he had total command of his fastball also. So uh, I think that's enough said. He, he was terrific. They, they, they've had trouble scoring runs everywhere. They scored a lot of course field, but overall trouble scoring runs. Are you, uh, are you concerned that when you face teams that are better offensively, you're going to start wasting some great starting pitching? Possibly, but, you know, they face some pretty good pitchers too. They open up the season and face some pretty good pitchers. And when you look at the stuff and the location of the pitchers that we've been running out there, um, when you make good pitches, it doesn't matter who the team is. Um, you you minimize your mistakes uh, and, and locate your all your pitches the way our guys have been doing. <clears throat> you'll get good hitters out too. I mean, not that these guys aren't good hitters. Let's and they've got a better lineup. They're just getting off slow. Better offensive teams, you would you know, waste some good offense, like, uh, some good pitching performances on your side. Well, possibly. No, possibly. You know, we can't expect uh, zeros on the board uh, day in and day out. I'd like, like to see that, but uh, it's going to be interesting when we do face Washington. And, uh, you know, the Mets have a good lineup. They haven't been scoring runs, but perhaps it's because our, our pitching was good. You know, and like I said, pitching, good pitching will always beat uh, good uh, hitting. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, just, I'm just saying that uh, uh, if we get good pitching and pitchers locate and change speeds, there's no reason to think otherwise. The starters have 59 strikeouts and 12 walks so far. Is it as simple as just along with that location, just getting the ball over the plate? Yeah, it's all about location, movement, um, deception. You know, obviously uh, velocity is, is a bonus if you have it because you can sneak uh, pitches by guys or just – you know, you're a Raulis Chapman. You can get get away with it, but um, nevertheless, if you keep throwing that ball down the middle of the plate, which is a poorly located pitch, uh, it's going to get hit. To, major league hitters are going to hit it. So you have to make good pitches. That's why pitching is so is such a hot commodity, especially starters, because players with good st pitchers with good stuff that can also locate are, are the good ones. Did you notice anything different about Eikhoff today? Was he particularly in the zone, in the dugout? No, not really. You know, we, we've seen him pitch very well in the past. Last year he was very good. Uh, he was rusty, as I said, in, in New York, but he still battled through it. He's got a good – he's got a lot of determination and he's got a lot of confidence in, in, in all his pitches. He's not afraid to throw any pitch in any count. Just to be clear, you didn't have rough tonight? R rough, uh, you know, we're going day to day.